I don't have all the normal symptoms. I don't wheeze, I don't cough, so it took quite a long while before the doctors thought, oh, maybe she has asthma. People didn't understand because the idea most doctors profess is that all asthma can be controlled. And if you have a type of asthma that cannot be controlled, people don't understand and you don't understand. Asthma is not a stable disease. It's not stable between patients, but it is not stable within one patient either. So you, you have to make a system that continuously can learn from what's happening and what's changing in the patient's asthma. I think they need to involve more patients earlier and involve them more deeply because what we have seen in the projects that I've worked on where patients were involved from the get on and were involved deeply that it the project did improve. My air coach is looking at all sorts of, of medical devices that are on the market that can measure uh, all types of asthma outcomes. For the first time there is an international project, it's EU funded, that looks at um, all kinds of devices that can measure all kinds of stuff and, and whether they would be helpful uh, for patients with asthma to manage their asthma better. What I would want to see is that the cooperation and trust between researchers, doctors, policy makers and patients is stronger so that we can really work together in improving therapies and, and care and how pa uh, people talk to patients.